Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to High School Basketball here on Ticket TV at 929theticket.com. Game two of the day here at Maine Central Institute as the John Babs Crusader boys get set to take on the MCI Husky boys. John Babs coming into this one with a record of one and six and four MCI. They are five and five on their season. Jim Churchill with you. Mark Paulette directing the show from Bangor, and we've got Jay Baines on scene here providing the camera work for this ball game. Coming up, the girls matchup uh, preceding this ball game. It was the John Babs Crusaders winning that one over MCI by a final of 65 to 47. And uh, we'll take a quick look at the two schools taking part in this matchup here today. First for the John Babs Crusaders, located on Broadway in Bangor, Maine. Enrollment approximately 500. The head of school is Mel McKay and the athletic director is Dan O'Connell. And on the other side of the ledger it is Maine Central Institute. And again we're going to correct their enrollment. That is a little shy of what it should be. The principal is Chris McDonald and the athletic director is Jim Leonard. And thanks to Jim for all of his help uh, during our or leading up to our broadcast here at MCI. This is our third time here and we appreciate Jim's assistance. All right, we'll take a break and then we'll come back. We'll take a closer look at these two rosters and we'll get you the starting lineups. This is high school basketball on Ticket TV. And welcome back to Maine Central Institute. And we are underway here. The John Babs Crusaders taking on the MCI Huskies. And the first shot of the ball game is off no good. The miss there by Corey Butler. We'll get you the starting lineups here in just a second. Loose basketball is going to be picked up by Butler for the visiting Crusaders. Lost it briefly, gets it back. And here's a floater put up, and that will drop for... Andy Chapika, the sophomore guard with the first two points of the afternoon in this boys game. Crusaders going for the sweep. Their girls won the first game of the day, 65 to 47. MCI with it. And they go inside to Tamar Sebeck, and he's got two, counted and one. So Sebeck. Strikes right back with two, trying to give his team a lead here, three to two. Starting lineup for the MCI Huskies and coach Josh Tardy as Sabic misses the free throw, but offensive board for the Huskies. We'll get to that lineup here eventually. Ryan Friend on the right side, picks up the dribble and finds some space, puts up the shot, he's got it. So two points there for the senior guard, Ryan Friend. Now pressure in backcourt being applied by the Huskies. Up ahead it goes to number 20 in purple here today, Jordan Kimball. So the starting lineup for the visitors is Michael Shepard. He's joined on the floor by Jordan Kimball, Luke Norman, Andy Chapika, and Corey Butler. Starting five for the Huskies here today, Ryan Friend, Gavin MacArthur, Max Bottenfield, Demir Sabic, and Parker St. Clair. That shot put up from the left baseline, no good. Rebound to MacArthur. Shepard falls to the floor. Open in the corner is Sabic, and he will drain the three. 
Got to keep an eye on that guy. We saw him in an earlier game this season against Foxcroft, and he went off in that one. And that shot is going to be blocked. The attempt there by Butler again. Sabic, right corner. MacArthur will try a three, but he's going to walk before the shot. And coming in here for John Bapst is going to be Levi Peterson as Butler will check out. 7-2 to here in the early going. Chapika, his pass is deflected and it's going to be picked up here by the Crusaders and taking it hard to the hole. Shot doesn't fall, offensive rebound, put back, a miss there by John Bapst, but it's tracked down in the corner by Chapika. This is by Norman and Peterson, another miss for the Crusaders and the rebound to MacArthur. Huskies are 5-5 five and five on the season and as they go inside to Jason Piles. Another senior for this uh, MCI Husky team, coached by Josh Hardy. Ed Jones is the coach for the Crusaders. And there's a miss by Kimball for John Bapst. On the fly, the Huskies and Savick running along the left baseline can't get his shot to go. Offensive rebound, though, for the Huskies. And now Ryan Friend will direct some traffic here as the Huskies get their half-court offense set up. K.K. Martinez in the ball game for the Huskies. Friend lost it, but into the hands of Martinez, and he will drag that pivot foot. So that'll be a turnover for MCI. Pangburn into the ball game for the Crusaders. Here's a scoop pass across the lane to Kimball from Peterson. Now check that to Norman from Peterson and Luke Norman with the bucket. And a miss there by MCI and the rebound to the Crusaders. Kimball up ahead to Pangburn. He whips it across court. And here's a floater off the window. Two points there for Andy Chapika. He's got four here in the first quarter, and it's seven to six. Friend walks it up, now brings it into the front court. MacArthur on the near side. Sabic in the corner. Now they go inside, and the shot rolls off there. The attempt by Max Bottenfield. And the loose basketball is going to be off MCI. Shot there by Chapika. Now a steal by MCI. Sabic all alone. He'll lay it up and in. Samir Sabic already with seven points. The lead is three for MCI. Now pressure in backcourt, and it's going to force a turnover. As Jordan Kimball dragged the foot. Look at the effort there. Ball tipped ahead to Sabic. And he knows what to do with it, making it 9-6. to six. Sabic with it on the right side. Skip pass to MacArthur. He'll try the long ball, and he'll hit the three. Gavin MacArthur into the scorebook. 12-6 MCI. Up and down the court we go. Here's Peterson underneath, and he will lose it. Kimball, Peterson, Norman, Hangburn, and Chapika out there for John Bapst. KK Martinez for three. Third three already for MCI. Martinez finding the range from outside the arc. And it's suddenly a nine point lead here for MCI. Pangburn, just a sophomore. Dangerous pass, and it's knocked away by MacArthur, but he can't save it in. Good effort there by Gavin. Senior for Coach Tardy. 3.10 left to go here in the first quarter. John Bapps trying to get it going at the offensive end. Pangburn finds Peterson, goes up strong. He's got two. Good work there by... The sophomore Pangburn and the drop-off pass there to Peterson, the junior. 
Here's Sabic from the left baseline for 12 feet. He's got two more. Timur up to nine points. More pressure coming from MCI. Another deflected pass. Picked up by Sabic. Three on two. Here's Friend. And his shot will not fall. Offensive rebound, Bottenfield. He'll get, he'll get fouled on the putback. So Max Bottenfield will be at the free throw line for two free throws. And a timeout is called. High School Basketball here on Ticket TV, presented by First National Bank. Dream first because you can. First National Bank, member FDIC, equal housing lender. Our broadcasts are also brought to you by Downey's Toyota, your all-wheel drive and four-wheel drive headquarters on Wilson Street in Brewer. All roads lead to Down East. See the record there for MCI, 5-5 five and five on the season under Coach Tardy. They lead this one 17-8 with 2.34 left to go in the first quarter. Let's uh, dive a little deeper on these two rosters. John Babst. Making the trek here, of course, the Crusaders have had no home court this season. They did play a couple of uh, home games, so to speak, in quotes, at uh, Brewer High School. And you see Ed Jones, the head coach. Just three seniors on the Crusader squad. And then for the MCI Huskies and Coach Tardy. A senior laden group, six seniors uh, for the Huskies. Out of the break, it's going to be Max Bottenfield at the free throw line. He gets the roll. Max into the scorebook, 18 to 8. Huskies with the advantage. Second one is up, and that's a round and out. No good, but an offensive rebound for the Huskies. And Jason Piles, the senior, Bottenfield again in the paint. He's going to be tied up by Pangburn. And the arrow is going to give it to MCI. Friend will trigger it. Long pass. Comes into Piles. Here's KK Martinez on the near side. Gets underneath Pangburn. Floats one up. It's short. But right there to snare it in midair is going to be Bottenfield. He goes straight back up and gets two points. Saders could use a bucket here. Down by 12. They'll try a three. That is no good by Chapika. And we do have a foul in the ensuing action after the miss. It's going to go against the Huskies. St. Clair is going to check back in for Coach Tardy. Bottenfield will take a seat on that MCI bench. Basketball saved in by Friend, but right into the hands of a Crusader, Levi Peterson. He gets fouled on the way up. Twenty-two eight. One fifty-one left to go here in the first quarter. Peterson misses the free throw. Levi with a bucket earlier in this first quarter. Second free throw off, no good. So the Crusaders come up empty. Sabic's pass a little high, but Friends reels it in. And Ryan can't hit the 10-footer. Rebound down to Luke Norman. Chaffee now for John Babs. Bounces it right to Pangburn. He drives, scoops it up, and he'll pick up two points. Strong move there by the sophomore Pangburn. Sabic at the free throw line. Dribbles out. Goes to Friend. Line of Four-year starter at quarterback for the MCI football team. Missed by Sabic. Offensive rebound. St. Clair passes it out. It's going to be tracked down by John Babs. A shot up and no good by Chaffee. And a hustle rebound there for MCI. And a travel by KK Martinez. It's a 
walk off, didn't get that basketball to the floor. Yeah, we've got a number 25 into the ball game for MCI. I don't have a 25 on my roster, so we'll go to work on that. Three ball from the left corner, no good there by Chapika. Weak side rebound, gathered by Norman. Now he'll try a three, that's too strong. Rebound MCI, the push up the right side by Sabic, takes it to the middle of the floor, has his pocket picked. Here comes John Baps and the lay-in there by Nick Chaffee. Good effort by Chaffee defensively and then the finish at the offensive end. Approaching the 22nd mark here in this first quarter. 20 to 12, MCI with the lead. Here's the shot up and no good. And the rebound by Peterson, outlets it. Pass is picked off by Martinez. Here's Sabic in the lane, gets hit, falls away, but gets the shot to drop. Great touch there by Tamir Sabic. And for him, 11 points in that first quarter to lead the way for MCI. And they have a 10-point lead at the end of the first eight minutes. After the first quarter, MCI up in double figures. We'll take a break. This is high school basketball on Ticket TV. At MCI underway here in quarter number two. And we'll get you updated on the lineups on the floor. Into the ballgame for John Bamps is Jaden Sockbasin. Big number 50 out there. Strong defense once again for MCI. They knock it across the near sidelines. So you've got John Pangburn, Levi Peterson, Jaden Sockbasin, Nick Chaffee, along with Andy Chapika. Bamps working it in the half court. Here's Sockbasin beyond the free throw line. All net. So Jaden just into the ball game, picks up two. Tamir Sabic, leading score in the ball game with 11 in that first quarter. Eight point deficit for the Crusaders. MCI looking for three more. That shot is short by MacArthur. Offensive rebound though for the Huskies. KK Martinez goes inside. Here's a turn and fire and that ball rolls off, no good. We're going to track down the uh, name of number 25. Max Bottenfield misses a shot in the paint. Rebound down to Peterson. Pangburn, the sock basin, spins. Shot high off last, no good. And MacArthur in for the rebound. And we've got an injured player down on the floor. As Bottenfield came down, he turned that ankle. And he's going to head to the MCI bench. And he'll be checked on by the trainer across the way. Meanwhile, Ryan Friend back into the fray. He's got the basketball now. 6.45 left to go here in the first half. KK Martinez kicks it out to Sabic. Back to Martinez on that right elbow wide open underneath. And putting it up and in is MCI. 25 with the deuce there. And that ball is going to be off the leg of MacArthur. As it's saved back in. Just surveying the roster here from our previous games to see if somebody might have changed a number, but we're going to need help on that. All right. Pass into backcourt. Peterson tracks it down, now Pangburn. His pass is errant, picked off by Martinez. Long pass up court. It's tipped from Friend to Sabic, who tried to get it back to Friend. Sabic should have just taken the shot there, but being a little too unselfish, and he turns it over. Here's Sock Basin backing in, up and under. Shot is blocked. Butler picks it up into the corner. Chaffee lost his footing. Maintains control, and then he's going to dribble it across the near sideline. So a turnover there for the Crusaders. Sinclair coming back into the ball game, and Sabic will take a break for MCI. Apologize in the pregame show. We have a little power blip with our particular 
outlet has shut everything down on us, including our cameras. We'll get everything back in order. Thanks for being with us here on Ticket TV. Steal by Friend, and Chaffee trying to get it back. It's saved into Ryan Friend. What an effort. Now they lob it inside for St. Clair, but Peterson will knock it out of bounds. So both teams putting forth tons of effort here in this first half. Peterson with the steal for John Baffs. Up ahead to Pangburn, crosses over into the lane. Kicks it out to Kimball, gets it back. Pangburn for three, no good. Friend the rebound for MCI. Pushes it up the right side, advances it to Martinez. Now Friend gets it back at the point. They go inside. Kick out, Ryan Friend for three, too strong. And the rebound finally taken out of there by Corey Butler. And we get a foul here against Gavin MacArthur. It's going to be the fourth on the Huskies and the second on Gavin. And he will take a break, and Sabic is back in. So it's Butler, Pangburn, Peterson, Kimball, and Sock Basin on the floor for Coach Ed Jones. And for Coach Tardy, it is Martinez, Sabic, St. Clair, friend and my mystery man number 25 and there's a power move by Jaden Sockbason. give him two more he's got four and once again the deficit is eight for the Crusaders 24-16 MCI with the lead and the basketball Savick to the free throw line friend goes to St. Clair 12 footer from the right baseline does not get the bounce and we got a battle for the rebound. It's won by MCI. Friend almost lost it. Ball ends up in the hands of St. Clair. He's going to be tied up by Peterson. And the arrow is going to give it to MCI. St. Clair is out. Piles back in for MCI. Norman comes into the ball game. Butler will check out. And now a whistle. And a foul. It's going to go against MCI. Eagle screen there against the Huskies. So John Baps will get it with 4.02 on the clock. And now. One of the officials talking over with Coach Ed Jones for John Babst. Looks like they've got everything squared away across the way. Pangburn down the left side of the lane gets a shot off. Awareness there by Pangburn. He felt the contact. He was thinking shot, but once he felt the contact, got the release off, drew the foul, so he'll be at the line for two. Sophomore's free throw is good. John with three points. Another free throw coming. Pangburn misses that one. Long rebound, track down. On the near side by Ryan Friend. Sabic in the right corner. Back out top to Friend. Martinez looks inside for Sabic. Quick shot, no good. Offensive rebound there by Piles. Nice pass outside to Friend. And now the Huskies will try to reset. Sabic, oh, trying to thread the needle there to Piles. And it's going to be picked off. Here is Jordan Kimball getting the shot off. It's no good. Rebound to MCI. They're on the run. Piles to Friend in the lane. Ryan finds a way to get the shot off, and he flipped it up and over the backboard. He thought it was tipped by a Crusader, but not the case according to the officials. Pika back out there for John Baps. They trail it by seven. 
Andy has it now. Skip pass, near side. Jordan Kimball puts up the three. And that's a little too hard. And the rebound to MCI. Up ahead it goes, and the lay-in for the Huskies. Number 25 with two more. He's got four. 26-17. Open again is Kimball. This one is a little too long. Into the hands of Len Thyam into the ball game. Martinez tries to get it to Piles on the wing, but that pass is wide of the mark and a turnover for MCI. John Babs has outscored MCI 5-4 in this second quarter. 2.26 left. Kimball will try another one and can't quite find the range there. It's being left open on that right wing. Friend bounces it inside. Time holds on, gets it out to Piles. Shot from the right baseline, no good. Time, good hustle, gets the offensive rebound, gets it off to Piles, who puts it home. Jason Piles with two. Sock Basin. Kimball, Pangburn, fakes the pass to the wing, goes to Sock Basin at the right elbow. Here's Chapika trying a shot, and it's no good, but a foul against MCI. Sabic getting set to come back in. See the nice pass to Piles in the middle of the paint. Gives the Huskies two more. Meanwhile, at the free throw line for John Babs is Andy Chapika. First free throw is good. Can't connect on the second one. Andy with five points. Ten point lead for MCI. John Babs sitting in a 2-3 zone. to Thyme in the corner it goes and ball is going to be knocked off MCI so it'll be Crusader basketball Chapika in the corner to Norman they lob it inside to Sock Basin he's double teamed gets it back to Luke Norman he misses the three and the Huskies with the rebound Friend calmly brings it into the front court. Now turns on the Jets. Here's Sabic driving the baseline, and he leans in and lays it in. Sabic's first two points here in the second quarter. He's got 13 so far on the afternoon. 12-point lead for MCI. Kimball will try another three, and this time he hits. Well, if at first you don't succeed, the mono there for Jordan Kimball. Sabic will try a long three. Comes up shy of the mark. Rebound into the hands of Pangburn. Straight up the middle of the floor. Chapika, floater, rolls off, no good. And the rebound to the Huskies, and a foul is going to go against Andy Chapika. And it is the second foul on Andy, third on the team. 20 seconds left, and the Huskies be looking for the final shot here in this first half. Sabic, some contact there, and that's going to be an offensive foul. As he dropped that shoulder. So Sabic is going to check out, and Piles will come back in for Coach Tardy. Meanwhile, the Crusaders get an opportunity at the final shot. Kimball. Norman in the corner, back out to Pangburn, pass is stolen by Piles. Jason Piles goes up for the shot, and he gets fouled from behind, goes careening into the pad there, gets a hand up from Pangburn, and the foul is going to go against Jordan Kimball. See Piles going up for the shot. Kimball trying to block the shot. Force Piles to make his mark at the free throw line. Doesn't not hit the first free throw. 
at a hoop earlier in the second quarter. Second free throw is up, and that one's in and out. And that will do it for the first half at the end of 16 minutes here at MCI. The Huskies lead this one by a score of 30 to 21. We'll take a break. We'll come back with some first half highlights. This is high school basketball on Ticket TV at 929theticket.com. Back at MCI, Jim Churchill along with uh, Mark Paulette directing the broadcast here today. And Jay Baines on camera. Great to have you with us here for high school basketball on Ticket TV. As we are in the midst of the uh, halftime report, Coastal Auto Parts is the proud local owner of Napa Auto Parts stores throughout the state of Maine. They are pleased to co-sponsor this high school basketball game. And this high school basketball game also brought to you by First National Bank. Dream first because you can. First National Bank, member FDIC, equal housing lender. You see the uh, girls' final played earlier today here at MCI. John Baps defeating the Huskies 65-47 to to improve to 3-6. and six. Let's take a look at some of the, uh, well, due to our... Uh, <laughs> Our technical issue, we may have lost uh, some of the first half highlights there, but we'll have them for you in the uh, post-game show. As we'll take a look at the scoring right now, MCI leading this ball game 30-21 to at the half. They led it 22-12 to at the end of the first quarter. Leading the way for the Huskies with 13 points is Tamir Sabic. He is followed up by... Number 25, which uh, we're going to get that uh, young man's name here in just a second. Uh, three points apiece for Max Bottenfield, Gavin MacArthur, and KK Martinez. And two points for Ryan Friend, two also for Jason Piles for their total of 30. And for Ed Jones's Crusaders, they have been led here in this first half by Andy Chapika. He's got five, four points for Jaden Sockbasin off the bench. And three apiece for Jordan Kimball and John Pangburn. And two points apiece for Nick Chaffee, Levi Peterson, and Luke Norman. All right, we'll take another uh, timeout here in the Halftime Report. We'll be back with second half action. This is High School Basketball on Ticket TV. Back at MCI. And uh, during the break, I ran across to the scorer's table, and Braden Fitz uh, was number 21 on our roster, but he's wearing number 25 today. So the sophomore uh, with four points uh, coming in that second quarter for the MCI Huskies. Let's take a look ahead at our upcoming uh, broadcast schedule here on Ticket TV and on Sports Radio 92.9 The Ticket. John Babs Crusaders featured a lot here in the... Uh, Coming days, not only two games here today, but two games on Monday as well. John Babs will be at Foxtroft Academy. Girls game will tip off at 5 p.m. And then the Crusader boys will take on the Pony boys at 6.30. On Tuesday, we've got the John Babs Crusader boys at Brewer High School to take on the Witches. That game, I believe, is now at 5 p.m. And also on Tuesday, on Main Sports Leader, 92.9 the ticket. Uh, Bangor at Old Town Girls, that should be a good one up at McKenzie Gymnasium. 6.30 the start time for that one. And then on Friday, another pair of solid matchups. Foxcroft at Herman on the boys' side, a 7 p.m. tip on Sports Radio 92.9, the ticket. And then on Ticket TV, Bangor at Brewer, rematch from a very close game earlier this season. And the winner of that game, uh, likely to be the number one seed in the upcoming uh, pod playoffs. There's four teams on the A side, and Brewer and Bangor each with just one loss. Camden and Nokomis also in the A pod. And then in the B pod in the uh, greater Bangor area, it is Ellsworth, Old Town, MDI, Baps, Orno, Herman, Foxcroft, and WA. Right now, it would appear that uh, Ellsworth, Old Town, Orno, and WA might be the team's uh, hosting those quarterfinal games. Of course, no need for quarterfinals with just four A teams. That is the boys' story. And of course, uh, much to be determined on the girls' side as well. Same uh, setup in the greater Bangor pod. All right, underway here, MCI. Now shooting to our right, and the miss there by Savick. 
And the rebound to Chapika. Pangburn, the push, takes it to the right side of the floor, tries to send it back to the near side, and Chapika will track it down. Now he loops one inside to Sock Basin. He'll scoop one up and underneath St. Clair. And Jaden Sock Basin adds two more to his total. He's got six in the ball game. And the deficit is just seven now for the Crusaders. Friend steps inside the arc into the paint. Lost it to Pangburn. Pangburn wheels, fires it up court. Here's Jordan Kimball using the left hand. Can't get it to go. Friend now surges up the middle of the floor. Inside they go to St. Clair. St. Clair will have his pocket picked. And there's the steal there by Chapika. Here's Jaden Sock Basin looking inside for Levi Peterson. Goes up for the shot and it hit off the top of the backboard. Almost went down. Sock Basin gets it back. His shot will not go. But it's going to be off MCI. Jordan Kimball gets it into Pangburn. John goes to Chapika. Now the Crusaders. Get to work. Here's a shot from the free throw line, short by Peterson. Gets it back. Had it knocked away. Here he is at the right elbow. Goes inside to Sock Basin and he uses all of his strength to rip that basketball away from Len Thine. And the foul is going to go against number 12 and White. So the Crusaders will put it in play from underneath their own basket. Set up their out of bounds play. Comes into Sock Basin. Near side, Pangburn. And getting his hands in there is Sabic. Pangburn rips it away. Sock Basin has it. John Baps living on the edge here in this possession. Here's Peterson taking it between a couple of Huskies. And he will draw the foul. A lot of dangerous passes. Finally, they go to Peterson. And he powers his way up. Can't get the field goal, but he's at the line here for two free throws. And a bit of a slow start to this third quarter offensively. As Peterson misses the free throw, just two points in the quarter. They belong to John Babst. And Levi gets the bounce on that second attempt, so he is up to three points. And the deficit is now just six for the Crusaders. Martinez, KK, spins, bounces it inside to Sabic. Sabic gets it back from Friend, turns, fires, can't get the three. Tip in no good by MacArthur, who's got it, and it's going to be the Crusaders. Peterson pulled it away. Pangburn surges up the right side. Passes it to Peterson, who tried to drop it off the Sock Basin, but he had his shot blocked. And now it's going to be off MCI, so Crusaders with another opportunity here. Jason Piles is going to come in for Coach Tardy, and Ren Thyme will check out. Kimball, Pangburn, Peterson, Chapika, and Sock Basin on the floor for the Crusaders. Pangburn comes near side to Kimball. Pulls up, misses the 12-footer. Rebound into the hands of MacArthur. MacArthur open for three. Got it! Gavin MacArthur, his second three of the ball game, his first points since the first quarter. Just those two threes for Gavin in this one. Another dangerous pass there by John Babs. Once again, they are very fortunate to keep the possession Left-handed miss there by Sock Basin. Rebound to Friend. He'll push it up the floor. Go to Sabek. He is wide open, and his three-pointer is too strong. Saved in nicely there by Martinez and by Friend. Now we'll see if the Huskies can settle in. Martinez open for three. Line drive shot. 
Comes up shy of the mark and the rebound into the hands of Peterson. Bit of a frenzied pace here, not a lot of offense, and that's going to be a carry against Pangburn. Michael Shepard is going to come into the ball game, as is Luke Norman, Kimball, and Sock Basin. Check out for the Crusaders. MacArthur, Sabic now inside. They go to Fitz, and he's going to walk. Halfway through the third quarter. Pass zipped inside. The kick out and the hit there by Chapika. Inside to Norman. He zipped it out to his teammate Andy Chapika, who hit the three. Andy up to eight points. 33 27, six point deficit once again. Huskies with a miss there. Piles couldn't get it to go. Ball's loose on the floor. A tie up. And the arrow is in the favor of John Bapst. Hangburn into the front court. Calls out motion. Here's Shepard. Mike goes to Chapika. Now it's Norman well beyond the arc. Luke and for a man in purple gets it off to Peterson. Peterson to the free throw line. Shepard had it knocked away by Sabic. Now he looks for Pangburn. Can he save it in? He ends up on the scorer's table. He does save it in to Sabic, though, unfortunately for the Crusaders. And Tamura lays it in with the left hand. Great job there by Pangburn to save it in and also uh, protect his body. He ended up sitting on the scorer's table across the way. 15 points now for Sabic. Foul here against MCI. Piles checks out. Pass comes into Pangburn. Pangburn steams up the right side. Comes on the left side to Norman. Norman double teamed. Bounces it inside. Boy, Crusaders living dangerously with some of these passes, but once again, very fortunate. Ball saved in to Chapika and Andy hits the six-footer. Five points here in the second half, 10 in the ball game for Chapika. Here's Sabic in the lane, can't finish, but a foul against John Bapst and two free throws for Tamir Sabic. Foul is against Andy Chapika. That's gonna be his third. Sabic at the line with 15 points. Husky's trying to get over the 500 mark and improve to six and five. That free throw is good. Corey Butler in for Andy Chapika. It's a pat on the back from his head coach, Ed Jones. Sabic, two for two at the line. Give him 17 on the afternoon. He's the leading scorer in the ball game. The lead back to eight for MCI. Butler dribbling low, goes in the corner to Norman. Luke dribbles it out top. Butler tries to feed it inside to Peterson, but the pass is picked off by Gavin MacArthur. Sabic in the corner, has room, and he'll miss the three. Offensive rebound to Fitz, and a foul is going to go against Butler. One fifty-three on the clock, eight-point lead for MCI. They have the basketball once again. They leave Savic open, and he makes them pay. Twenty points now for Tamir Savic in the ball game, and the lead for MCI back into double figures. Timeout on the floor. We will take it as well. This is high school basketball on Ticket TV. Way after the timeout. Miss for each side, and now MCI with the basketball. Up by 11. 
Carther on the wing, and his pass is going to be picked off by Luke Norman. Norman up ahead to Pangburn. Pangburn going one on three, scoops it up. No good. And the rebound corralled by Sabic. Goes right to the lane, puts up the shot, and he's got two more. It is a nine-point quarter for Tamir Sabic. He's up to 22 points. John Babs had the deficit down to six. Now trail by 13. Here's Shepard trying a three. That's off the iron, no good. Offensive rebound, though, for Peterson. Takes it to the rim, and he's got two. Count the hoop and one. Great effort there by Levi Peterson. Not giving up on that missed shot. Got the offensive rebound and then turned and drove to the hoop. Scooped it up there, took the hit. And now he'll try to complete the three-point play. Levi with five points. Free throw is good. It's two for five at the line. That makes it 42-32. 20 seconds left here for the Huskies. Sabic gets a screen there from Fitz. Almost lost it. It's control. Now he gets it back at the free throw line. Misses that jumper. Offensive rebound to Piles. And tried to find a teammate as he was falling to the floor. Unfortunately, while he did find a teammate, that teammate was sitting on the bench. Coach Tardy having a conversation with the official over there in front of the MCI bench. Butler, long pass picked off by Fitz, ahead to Friend, and Friend can't hit the shot. Buzzer sounds, third quarter in the books, and it's a 10-point lead for the Huskies at the end of three. This is high school basketball on Ticket TV at 929theticket.com. MCI with the first possession. Huskies up by 10. Pass makes its way to KK Martinez. Here's MacArthur firing up a three. He can't connect. And the ball is not saved in by. Luke Norman, despite his valiant attempt. Savick quickly to MacArthur. Back to Savick. Norman picks him up. And a steal here by Shepard. Shepard goes in, and MacArthur swats it out of bounds. It's going to be Crusader basketball. Savick, the leading scorer in the ballgame with 22 for MCI. Andy Chapika has 10 for John Baps, and Shepard had his toes on the sideline. MCI ball. It's MacArthur going to Fitz, and he charges along the baseline, and he'll plow over Levi Peterson, and the foul will be applied to Braden Fitz. Four points in the ball game for Braden. Took us a while to sort out just who that was in uniform. Number 25. Here's uh, Butler with a shot from the left corner. Round and out. No good. Kiki Martinez with the long carom. Now inside of Fitz. Fitz powers his way up. Misses the four-footer. And the defensive board goes to... Corey Butler for John Babst. Up ahead, Shepard high arcing three, no good. And one and done there for the Crusaders. Sabic, fall away in the corner, misses the three. Friend has the offensive board. Shepard takes it away from him, pushes it ahead to Butler. Butler in the lane, floats it up, uses the window nicely. Corey Butler with two points, and that makes it 42-34. All kinds of time left in this one. 6.15 on the clock, Fitz was open for three. 
That goes to Friend out top. Fall away shot here by Sabit. He's got two more up to 24. Ball almost got away from the Crusaders. Butler got it back. Now it's Pangburn dribbling to the right side in front of the Crusader bench. Butler, long three, and it's going to be wide of the mark. Out of bounds. John Bapp's basketball. Subs in here for Coach Jones. Chapika back in. Jordan Kimball back in. Jaden Sock basin. They're out there with Shepard and Pangburn. There's Sabek out there with KK Martinez. Parker St. Clair back in the ball game. Here's a three rattled in by Gavin MacArthur deep in that left corner. Lead back to 13 for MCI. Gavin with three threes. Total of nine points. Here's Sock Basin. Post move. Comes up short on that one. Sabic, the push. And the runner from just inside the free throw line is good. He's got it going once again. Four points here in the fourth. 13 in the second half. 26 in the ball game. Dangerous pass there, picked off by MacArthur. Gavin MacArthur has a lay-in. And things are getting away from the Crusaders, and they're going to ask for the timeout right here. There's the pass by Sabic into the corner to MacArthur and Gavin with a long three. And here's the steal by MacArthur. Turns on the Jets, gets around Pangburn and the outstretched arm and the lay-in there for number 11. Gavin MacArthur now with 11 points on the afternoon. He's a senior for Coach Josh Tardy. So two players in double figures for MCI, 26 for Sabic, 11 now for MacArthur. The lone crusader in double digits is Andy Chapika with 10. Game earlier today, John Baps girls winning 65 to 47 over MCI. Jordan Kimball goes to Chapika. Andy into the lane, gets tripped up. And that's going to be a foul against MCI. One time with the personal. That's going to be his third. Some piles getting set to check back in. Long pass into the hands of Kimball. Jordan takes it into the paint and misses the shot from six. MacArthur can't control the rebound, though. Loses it across the end line. So John Bapp's basketball. Thime out. Piles in for the Huskies. Kimball having trouble. Finally gets it into Norman. Jordan gets it back. Steps back and misses the three. Who's got the rebound? It's going to be Piles for MCI. Outlets it to Sabic near midcourt. Bounce pass across the court to MacArthur. Pulls up inside the arc. Shot no good, but he gets fouled by Chapika. And Gavin MacArthur will tow the line for two free throws. It's going to be the fourth foul on Chapika. MacArthur nails the first free throw. Suddenly the lead is up to 18 for MCI. Make it 19 as MacArthur two for two at the line. Just a few minutes ago it was a six-point deficit for the Crusaders. Norman drives, floats it up, and draws the foul. Norman is a senior forward. Two points in the first quarter. 
Trying to add to his total, but misses that free throw. The lefty shot is good. So one for two at the line for Luke. 53-35. We're under four minutes left to go here in this fourth quarter. Into the ball game here for MCI is Braden Kennedy. Sabic to MacArthur, quick trigger and a hit. Talk about a quick release. That was the case there for Gavin MacArthur. That is his 4-3. He's got 10 points here in the fourth quarter, 16 for the ball game. Biggest lead of the afternoon, 56-35. Jordan Kimball picks up two there for the Crusaders. He's got five in the ball game. Have not seen Max Bottenfield since he turned that ankle back in the first half. Sabic can't hit that shot. Long rebound, in, long rebound. Excuse me, into the hands of Chaffee for John Baps. He gets knocked to the floor. Kimball. Crosses over, takes it to the elbow, back to Chaffee. Chaffee back into the action, goes inside his Sock Basin, who turns and hits. Jaden Sock Basin up to eight points for John Bapst. Here's Piles. Little team, St. Clair, briefly open at the free throw line, gets it back to MacArthur, who'll drain another three. Have yourself a fourth quarter. Gavin MacArthur, 13 points in this quarter, including three threes. He's got five threes in the ball game. From the right side, in, out, and back down by Chapika. Andy up to 13 points. Sabic will try a three, and he'll add one more. And looks like we're going to have some subs coming in here for the Huskies. MacArthur will stay out there along with Sabic and checking in for MCI. is another player who's possibly wearing a different uniform number, number four into the ball game. Here's a steal by MCI, Sabic ahead of the pack and he lays it in. Alex Dion heading to the scorer's table. Two there for the Crusaders. 64-44. Here's Len Thyme. His shot rolls off no good. And the ball's going to be out of bounds off of Luke Norman. Alex Dion checks in for Gavin MacArthur. Takeaway here for John Baps. One minute left, and the pass too far ahead for Chaffee. Fifty-five seconds left. Savic. Now they look inside for Braden Kennedy. Too tall for him. Fifty-two seconds left here. Jordan Kimball. Bounces it to Chaffee. Now Norman for three. That is a little shy of the mark. And the rebound to Thyme for MCI. Alex Dion in the corner. Shoots it and hits! And the bench goes wild for MCI. That was not an easy shot. Tough angle. High arcing shot and all net. And the Huskies came out of their chairs across the way. Nice to see there that excitement for a teammate. Alex Dion has not played a lot for the Huskies this year. Gets in late here against 
the Crusaders and hits that shot. The buzzer sounds, and that will do it in this one. The MCI Huskies improve to 6-5 and five as they defeat the John Babs Crusaders here this afternoon, 66 to 44. So the two schools split in this double header. The John Babs girls winning, but it's the MCI boys winning in game number two. All right, we will take a timeout and we'll come back with the post game show. This is high school basketball on Ticket TV. Welcome back to MCI. Jim Churchill with you. You see the scoreboard here at uh, Wright Gymnasium. 66 to 44 is the final. The home team, the Huskies, defeat the John Babs Crusaders, and they improve uh, to 6 and 5 on the season. So we're going to take a, a look at some of the highlights uh, from this uh, ball game here in the second half. Again, it was a 30 to 21 advantage for MCI at the half. Here's Jaden Sockbasin with a nice move along the left baseline. Ryan Friend dishing it back to teammate Gavin MacArthur, who was very hot from long range. He drains that one. Here's a loose basketball picked up by Tamir Sabic. And he lays it in with a left hand. Sabic again with the hard push. Gets into the paint in between a couple of defenders and gets the shot to go. And at the John Babs end, here's Corey Butler floating one up and off the window for two points. Huskies on the run again. MacArthur, nice job there getting around Pangburn and then extending that arm to... Uh, Make that shot just a little bit easier. And now MacArthur once again stepping back beyond the arc to hit another three. Andy Chapika. Shot there for John Babs. And here's the final shot of the night, the final big hoop, Alex Dion. And you see the reaction there by the MCI bench, a guy who doesn't... Uh, play a lot. Alex a senior for this MCI team and uh, he gets that shot to go and MCI with the victory here this afternoon 66 to 44. All right we'll take a quick time out so we'll come back and get you caught up on uh, the scoring and our look ahead to the upcoming action here on Ticket TV. And welcome back to MCI. Jim Churchill with you here on Ticket TV. And we're joined by MCI coach uh, Josh Tardy. His team victorious here today, 66 to 44 over the John Babs Crusaders to improve to 6 and 5. And uh, coach, in that second half, uh, John Babs got it down to 6 there a couple of times, but uh, you, you turned it on there at the end. Yeah, we hit some shots and, and you know, we extended the lead, but John Babs, to their credit, they played scrappy. Uh, they forced us into some bad shots, uh, you know, and, and you don't really feel that accomplished when you're missing some of those outside shots and you're they turned us over too I was surprised at at sort of some of our unforced errors and then some of the errors that they forced based on their defensive intensity mm -hmm. I think we have to do a better job of getting passing angles and and, and pass fakes and shot fakes and I, we were a little bit too stationary the coaches are never happy <laughs> um, a guy who was uh, pretty happy with his performance today uh, Tamir Sabic we saw him in an earlier game here and I think he had at least 30 in that ball game 31 here today yeah, Tamir's having a great year. He's averaging 18 or 19 points per game. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, he, he gets into stretches where he can get really hot. He's a tough guard. We, un we understand that. I, I thought Gavin MacArthur showed some, uh, some nice spark. Uh, he, he got hot as well. Yep. And, and against that zone with, with Tamir and Gavin starting to heat up and us getting better uh, looks off reversal, that, that's what opened the game up. Yeah, 19 points for Gavin MacArthur. He had five threes. Uh, in this ball game, but a good solid team effort. How's Max Bottenfield doing? Uh, he's day to day. I think he's going to take two or three days off. I mean, that was that was another thing that impacted this game. We we had uh, a little bit of an identity crisis when when he went out. Uh, he's so important to us for the inside scoring. Mm -hmm. And uh, but the other guys stepped up to their credit, and they, they, we had some good minutes from just about everybody on the team. And uh, hopefully Max will be back by Friday. And uh, you got Nakomas to uh, finish up your season. How's your pod shaping up? 
Uh, you know, it's, I, I have no idea where we're going to finish. I just <laughs> know that the teams that we're going to be likely playing are all great teams. We're looking forward to it. You know, we're in a pod with Miranda Cook, who's just a, a special team. Coney, Lawrence, mm. Scow Hegan. Pretty good uh, basketball. And Mesolonsky and Winslow. Everybody, <laughs> everybody's a bully. Wow. And so it's, it's a battle of the bullies when, when we get to the pod stuff. And I'd be remiss if I didn't mention the shot of the game that got the biggest reaction uh, uh, from the MCI bench, and that was uh, your senior Alex uh, Dion hitting that uh, shot. That was a tough shot. It was. He made a tough shot, and there I think it is. He, and, and, and he's and he's gonna. I'm sure. That I know Alex. He's gonna be asking why he isn't more part of the <laughs> offense going forward. So, Alex has been with me for four years. He yep. was. He was. A, he was been. A, he was a manager for three years, and he made the team this year. He's a very important part of our team. Yeah. And a uh, very popular guy on the team. Yeah. You could tell by the reaction there on the bench and that's uh, that's very cool all right on that very positive note uh thank you coach thank you Take all care. right good luck the rest of the way that's uh, coach josh tardy joining us here in the post game show and now we'll run down uh, the scoring uh from this uh, mci victory 66 to 44 as i mentioned 31 points for tamir sabic uh, 19 points for gavin MacArthur. uh four points in the ball game for braden fitz Three points for K.K. Martinez, three also for Max Bottenfield before he was injured, and then two points apiece for Ryan Friend, Jason Piles, and as we mentioned, uh, the capper from Alex Dion to finish uh, the afternoon for the Huskies. Meanwhile, on the Crusader side of the ledger, 11 points for Andy Chapika, nine points for Jordan Kimball, eight points for Jaden Sockbasin off the bench for the Crusaders, Six points for Levi Peterson, and three apiece for John Pangburn and Luke Norman, and two apiece for Nick Chaffee and Corey Butler for their total of 44. All right, let's take a quick look ahead to our upcoming uh, broadcast schedule here on Ticket TV. And again, we'll have the Crusaders again on Monday, another doubleheader as they travel to Foxcroft Academy to take on the Ponies. Girls game at 5 p.m., boys at 6.30. And we've got the Crusader boys once again on Tuesday night as they play at Brewer. That is a 5 p.m. tip. And then on Tuesday as well, we have uh, a girls game on Sports Radio 92.9. The ticket, 6.30 p.m. tip. Bangor at Old Town, very interesting matchup there. And then we move to Friday with uh, two more ball games on the radio side. Foxcroft at Herman Boys at 7. And on the Ticket TV side, Bangor at Brewer Boys in a big rematch at 7.15. That should determine who is the number one seed in the Class A uh, division of the uh, Greater Bangor Pod. So we're looking forward to that. And don't forget uh, weekdays on Sports Radio 92.9. The ticket from 6 a.m. to 8 a.m. It's the morning line. And then from 4 to 6, it is the drive again on Main Sports Leader 92.9. The ticket. Thanks to uh, Mark Paulette for the directing the doubleheader from Bangor. Also thanks to Jay Baines, uh, my partner here on the scene at MCI. And again, the finals, John Baff's girls defeat MCI 65 to 47. The MCI boys return the favor. They defeat the Crusaders 66 to 44. Jim Churchill saying so long. Have a great weekend, everyone. You've been tuned in to high school basketball on Ticket TV at 929theticket.com.